less than three thirds. Operations of addition and subtraction, example three. Now this is a theory here. The square root of a squared b plus the square root of c squared b can be written as, as, you, as before, a root b plus c root b. Now because these root b's are a common factor, we can take them out and just add the numbers in front. So we add the a and the c together. Now in this case here, you've got, when you take simplified them, them here, you've got root b and a root d, which is not a common factor. So you've just got to leave it in that particular form. All right? Okay, so here's an example to do. Now root 27 can be written as the square root of 9 times 3 plus root 12 as 4 times 3, which gives me 3 root 3 plus 2 root 3. Now, now we can add those, the 3 and the 2, and we get 5 root 3 as our final answer. A bit like algebra, like it's 3a plus 2a is 5a. 3 root 3 plus 2 root 3 is 5 root 3. Okay, you can see that subtraction works the same as addition. So we can take out the common factor of root b, and you've got a minus c in this case. Of course, it won't work if these aren't a common factor. Okay, so here's the next example to have a look at. If the square root of x equals the square root of 50 plus the square root of 18 minus the square root of 8, find what x is. Okay, let's have a look at this. So this becomes... That's the square root of now 50 is 25 times 2 plus now that's the square root of 9 times 2 minus and this is the square root of 4 times 2. Now that is 5 root 2 plus 3 root 2 minus 2 root 2. Now this gives me 8 root 2 minus 2 root 2, which gives me 6 root 2. Now to work what x is, we need to take that inside the square root sign, so we rewrite that as the square root of 6 squared times 2. 6 squared is 36, and times 2 is 72, which means that x must equal 72. All right, this one's a little bit more involved, more of an examination style question. Now, uh, if b root 5 equals 3 root 45 plus 2 root 20, find b. So a lot of concepts tested in this little one. Okay, let's have a look at this 3 root 45. Now, yeah, that's going to be 3 times, now this will be a 9 times 5 plus 2 this is going to be a 4 times 5. Okay, so this will be a 3 times 3 root 5 plus a 2 times a 2 root 5, which is 9 root 5 plus 4 root 5, and that's going to give me 13 root 5. So b is the one in front, 13 is the one in front, therefore b must equal 13.